What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to talk about the first lens you should buy as a portrait photographer. Now, many coin this lens right here to be the nifty 50. But I'm here to tell you that just because it's low cost doesn't mean it's low value. In fact, many pro photographers use this lens every single day. Let's get into some pros and reasons why you should have this lens and why you should buy it first. Let's jump straight into it. Let's talk about the versatility. Now, when it comes to zoom lenses, we have this thing we call the Trinity, and it is your 14 to 24, your 24 to 70, and your 70 to 200. Now, when it comes to the 70 to 200 and the 14 to 24, those are lenses that specific type of photographers will use, right? Um, you may not need a 14 to 24 for everything you do, and you may not need a 70 to 200 for everything you do but everybody tends to go for that middle area being the 24 to 70 because of how versatile it is and it's the same thing when it comes to prom lenses we have our 35 our 50 and our 85. Now, a lot of people look at the 35 as a storytelling lens because you could get so many different things out of it. And they look at the 85 as the lens to do great portraits because it's going to blur out the background real nice. Well, the 50 sits in between. And I actually went on this shoot recently where I challenged myself to try to get everything I could get with a 35 and everything that I could get with a 85. Now, that was the only lens that I used. And and I don't know, what do you think? I think I got some pretty good shots out of it. Next, let's talk about low light performance. Now, when it comes to zoom lenses, most of them only go to about 2.8, but when it comes to prime lenses, they usually start at 1.8, and it could go to 1.4 and 1.2, but let's not focus on those because that's when you start to get into the expensive side. But with the 1.8, it does phenomenal in low light uh, scenarios. Um, in fact, in this shoot right here, I shot at about 10 o'clock at night and I barely needed to use any flash power because I was at that 1.8. Extremely beautiful. What do you think about these photos? We can't talk about a 50 millimeter lens if we don't talk about bokeh. Now, this was the first lens that I owned that was able to give me that beautiful background blur. And a lot of us see that on portrait mode and things like that, where they're using software to achieve this look. Now, one thing that you do have to know about shooting with any lens, but especially a 50 millimeter lens is the further you are away, the less background blur you are. The closer that you get, the more that you will be able to blur out the background. Now, a 50 millimeter lens is really good for senior portraits and headshots because of the bokeh that it can give you. Next, let's get into sharpness. Now, it's no way that a lens that's under $1,000 can be sharp, right? Wrong. Take a look at this image. Even with me being far away, once I zoom in, you can really see how sharp this lens is. I'm telling you, man, it can really do anything. And last but not least, let's talk about learning. Having a 50 millimeter lens really forces you to think about your composition. Since it's not a zoom lens, you will have to take a few steps back or take a few steps forward in order to get that shot that you really want. It really can help with your photography skills and just overall getting a compelling image. Now, having this lens or any lens, it's, it's no such thing as a perfect lens for everything, right? Let's, let's just be honest with ourselves. But having a 50 millimeter lens for your first lens is something that I recommend to everybody. In fact, it was my first lens that I bought. My camera came with a kit lens, but it was the first one that I bought. Now, what I'm gonna do is put a few links to some really good really cheap or let's not say really cheap but cheap right compared to other lenses but i'm going to put a few links uh in the description to match your camera brand on the type of 50 millimeter lenses that 50 millimeter lenses that i think that you should get okay so until the next time it's been good i want you to go ahead on like the video subscribe join the discord okay link in the description but until the next time peace